Hi guys, this is Katie Bunshouten, the president and founder of Sertum Solutions here in North Carolina. And today I wanted to answer a viewer question regarding automatically invoicing unbilled activity. We live in the age of automation and uh, needing to invoice, you know, delayed charges or unbilled charges in QuickBooks Online is a common ask. So it's time we go ahead and we answer this question and set up this workflow. Before I get started, if you like this channel, please make sure that you do me a favor and subscribe to our channel. We are well on our way, I think, to 3,000 viewers, which is only a very tiny percentage of the people, or subscribers, which is a tiny percentage of the people that actually do view our channel every month. Um, also, if you like this kind of content related to QuickBooks Online and the use of that program, if you can go ahead and like this video, that's your way of voting for us to do more QuickBooks Online content. Okay, so let's get down to business, shall we? I am in our QuickBooks uh, Certum Cubo Advanced demo file today, and this is our homepage. You, it may look familiar. I do most of our videos out of this demo company. And to the right, we have our gear. And I love the fact that it's a gear because it kind of reminds you, if you're working on something that happens behind the scenes, use the gear. If you're trying to add a new transaction, click your new button, which is also called your quick create. But for today, we need to set something up behind the scenes so that we can bill unbilled activity without having to do it by hand every month, okay? So in order to do that, you wanna click on your gear and you wanna click on account and settings. Then go ahead and click down on advance. And then we wanna go ahead and scroll. and. A common theme in my tutorials is please make sure you check your preferences when you set up your QuickBooks file. So if you haven't done so, and you're going to this feature in particular, take some time and go through the rest of them. I think it will take you maybe 20, 30 minutes, okay? But it's well worth the investment of your time. So we have gotten to our automation section and we have four options. We can pre-fill forms with previously entered content, which I usually keep on. We can automatically apply credits to invoices, which I have is on, but honestly, I like that being off. Uh, it looks like Somebody's probably been in this demo. Automatically invoice unbilled activity. Right now is turned off. We're going to fix that. And automatically apply bill payments is on. And when I say credits, I'm assuming customer credits, but I'm thinking that might be vendor credits. Let's click. Yep, customer credits. Automatically applying credits to the next invoice. So, and before I click this, let me also put one other little caveat in. If you're moving a ton of data into QuickBooks, you want to make sure these features, automatically apply credits and automatically apply bill payments, are turned off for obvious reasons, right? If you're pushing in a ton of data, like you want to do your own implementation, which, you know, come to Certum. We love to work on implementations. We would love to work with you. If you're doing this yourself, don't have your automation features turned on, right? Because you're going to want those things to apply in a very specific way. And if you turn this on, the matching of a lot of your transactions can get thrown totally out of whack. But for today, we're going to automatically invoice on build activity. So I'm going to click the little question mark and read out what it says. Automatically creates invoices for customers that have unbilled activities. Notifications appear in the activity feed on the home page. So I'm going to turn this on. And I'm going to say automatically, so this is automatically create invoices and do not notify me, automatically create invoices and notify me or remind me to create invoices. I would strongly prefer to go with one of the last two because especially if you have payments turned on, I feel like if you're not being notified in some way or fashion, um, you know, Murphy's Law kind of takes over, you know, we just don't want anything to pop up there. But in this case, I'm going to pick automatically create invoices and notify me. Let's go ahead and schedule that on the first day of every month. And I'm going to go ahead and save, okay? And that's really all you have to do. Now what it's going to do is if you have charges, which you can see those charges on your reports, in your reports, let's scroll down to your unbilled charges report. Two very similar reports. You have unbilled time, which is fantastic. Use that a lot. Um, and then you have unbilled charges, which I kind of prefer because it shows you not only unbilled time charges, but also like if you have billable expense charges, it'll pop up on there too, like here. 
Um, whereas unbuilt time is really filtered just for time entries, which are these time charges, right? So with this turned on, what it's going to do is on the first of every month is going to create invoices and remind you of that. And you're going to have to send them out. I am a big fan again of making sure that you follow this process, make sure you're being notified in some way or fashion and Automation is fantastic, and if you get used to it and you have nobody else working in your books and you are not making any mistakes, go ahead and turn that full automation on and have it just send out for you. But if you have a lot of people in your books or um, that have access to this feature, or if you are like me and you just like to tick that box, I recommend either notify me or remind me to make the invoice myself. Okay, so that is it um, for this video, short and sweet. I know you're not used to that for me, but if you have any questions or if I can help with any other questions, please make sure to leave me a comment and I would love to hear from you. Thanks again for watching and I hope you have a fantastic day.